welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to do a haul update on the stuff that I bought during the Sephora sale. So it's been about a month and a half since I bought the stuff that I did. I was able to get 20% off on all this stuff and I made a decent sized haul. I even did like a try on video so I'll leave that down below. But I thought I would give you some more concrete thoughts on some of those products and use them in a video again and all that. So I hope you guys enjoy. Some of these you might have seen in like favorites, maybe even a fail. But I thought since I did like a whole haul video specifically, it'd be fun to update all those products in one video as well. So let's get into it first. I got a prime because I need some moisture, honestly. My skin has been in a pretty, a pretty bad state, I feel like. Um, so I'm just using my first aid beauty. Oh my gosh a lot of it obviously today. And this is gonna be my base because I didn't actually pick up a new primer during the sale, but I did get a foundation. So I feel like this one's gonna be the best one for the foundation. So I picked up the Kosas Revealer Foundation. I have the shade Very Light Neutral 110. And um, I have been enjoying this. I will say it's it hasn't like overtaken my Yunsa, but it's, it's a nice foundation. So I guess I'm not sure if I would like repurchase, but I feel like the color is a really nice match for me. It does feel nice and lightweight on the skin, but I do prefer applying it with a sponge because I feel like it just helps to not pick up any of my dry patches or problem areas. I do think I have to use more of it <laughs> if I use my sponge than if I used a brush, so that's a little sad, but that's just kind of it. Like I'd rather have a better finish, so it's pretty nice. I definitely think for people who have more normal skin or like you know, they just don't have issues with texture or things like that on their skin. I can totally see why they would like this because even with those issues, I find it goes on really nice and it doesn't really look too makeup-y. The biggest thing that I'm st I'm still, even after all this time, kind of figuring out is that I don't think this has the best longevity. Like if you're getting this because you want a 12 hour wear, I don't think this is the foundation for you. I just find it kind of breaks up a little bit or if anything like kind of dries. Mm, I don't know, I guess I can see more of my problem areas throughout the day. So that's just something to keep in mind. It's not like a big problem to me. It's not like stopping me from wearing it, but it's just something that I've noticed after long wear days of this foundation that I can kind of start to see it on my skin, which I don't really see it on my skin otherwise. So with all that, I like it and I will use up the bottle for sure, but I'm not sure if I would repurchase it at the moment. That's how I feel. But that color match is pretty good. Oh, I wanted to update you too. The concealer that I had went off. I, <laughs> I could tell from the smell, I was like, this is off, it's finally off. So um, that's something definitely to consider with the Kosas products. This one says it expires 723. So I have a little over a year to finish that one up. And I feel like with the concealers as well, it's about, yeah, like a year, maybe a year and a half if you're lucky. But that one you're also like re-dipping product in. So that could be part of it. Anyway, just thought I'd mention that <laughs> my concealer finally went bad. I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer on under my eyes. I'm using this NARS one. I didn't pick this up during the sale. I picked it up around that time, but I do want something a little bit more coverage than not. And I'm actually gonna use a little brush. This one is from Sigma. It's the Bake Precision. And I'm just gonna tap this in. And I'm actually just doing under my eyes. I don't really want anywhere else. I just wanna keep everything pretty natural. So next product from my haul is the Fenty Beauty uh, Into Sun Sun Stalker Bronzer. I've been enjoying this. Like, I think it's nice. Not my favorite still, but um, I do think the color is decent. I'm not even gonna use a cream bronzer today. Usually I would, and I've actually been enjoying that a lot, but I'm just gonna sculpt and bronze with this. It's a matte bronzer, so I do like that about it. And I mean, I think it's a pretty color. A big thing that I've been struggling with are the colors of my bronzers, but I think this one is nice. I just so badly want that baked formula. So that's like the biggest point off on this, but I can see the hype. Like I get why people like it. It's very nice. And I think it does the kind of sculpting and bronzing thing. And that's what I basically do with bronzer anyway too. Like I don't really contour, but I do find like bronzer just adds so much dimension to your face. So this is a, a good one. Not my favorite product, but a solid pickup if you're in need of a bronzer and you want something matte. They have a pretty good shade range and I don't find this one pulls too red or anything. Okay, now let's do some blush. I picked up the Bare Minerals Kiss of Pink Blonzer. I was really excited for this. I do like it. I don't like it as much as I thought. You know, for being a blonzer, 
you would expect it to have more brown in it, like a blush bronzer, but I don't find that to be the, there's not really any brown in this. So it's really just a blush, like, I think the, the bronzer part to me is just marketing. So if you're getting it because you're like, oh my gosh, blushy bronzer, no, 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 it's not that. Um, I do like the formula. It's a shimmery finish and I like that it is pretty sheer and buildable so you have some time and you can kind of go for a lot, go for a little, do a blushy look. You could do just a normal look. So I like it enough. It's pretty, like it's a pretty blush. I just, I don't know, I wanted more. I wanted more from it. I wanted more bronzer too. Like I want real bronzers. That's what I would think would be great. And I just apply my blush pretty high on the cheekbone out from my eye. I've been doing that for like years now. And I just like it. I think it looks really pretty. I like the kind of blush draping look, whether I go more uh, simple with my blush or go more intense. I always like that placement best for me at least right now. So this is just okay. That's how I feel about it. Like if you weren't able to pick it up or you're on the fence, I don't know, it's okay. Now for highlighter, I picked up a Dior highlighter and I ended up returning it without touching it cause I just was like, that's too dark. Then I wanted to get the Dior um, like highlighter palette but they didn't have that in store. And then when I went online, it was sold out. So the highlighter dreams did not happen during the sale but this ended up coming out during the sale. So I placed it's my own order for just this. This is the Pillow Talk Multi Glow Highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. Now this wasn't in that initial try on haul because again, I got it a little bit later but I still Still wanted to show it and let you guys know my thoughts. Ooh, I just sprayed myself and it's still getting in my, my mouth. <laughs> I do like this. I'm using this brush from Sigma. This is one of my favorites for a soft highlighted look. It's the Powder Sculpt. So I'm just like putting it everywhere in there. And then I'm gonna just dust it kind of on my cheeks. And I feel like that's like the best way. I don't pack this highlighter on because if I do, you know, it does have a blushy kind of look to it the colors of this highlighter. And I like it enough, I like it enough. So it's not a complete bust. It's not my all time favorite, you know? But I'm happy that it has more of a shine than not. And it's not like super powdery, even though you almost think it might be uh, by looking <laughs> at it in there, but it has a nice, a nice shine on it. So I think it's okay. I'm glad I got it with the 20% off. I think that's decent, you know, um, but I wouldn't say it's in my top 10. I was hopeful, but it's not in my top 10. I'm just glad I don't dislike it, honestly. I think that the gold bar is still like the best <laughs> from Charlotte Tilbury that got discontinued. So I have the gold bar palette and I love that thing. On to eyes, I'm gonna prime and I'm just using this base from Sigma. This is a different one though. I'm using Persuade. I did pick up an eye primer <laughs> from, uh, Pat McGrath and I don't like this. So I talked about this in a favorite and fails for April. This is not good. Like do not waste your money. It is not worth, honestly, it's not worth $5. It's not worth it. <laughs> it does nothing at all, at all. Anyway, I'm gonna prime my lids because I am gonna be using a cream shadow before I go in with a palette. Oh my gosh, the tip just broke off, why? I forgot that I haven't done my brows either. We'll definitely do that before. I like to do my brows before I do my eyes because my brows are almost this kind of marker of the boundary, like don't go out the lines. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take you along for my brows today because I'm trying something new. This might be batshit, I don't know. Um, I'm taking this. If you guys watch Trying to Clutters, you know I always keep this ABH dip brow in taupe. I keep it around because I'm always like, maybe one day. And I've also been wanting a tinted brow wax, but it's not working out. All the brands don't have enough pigment or it's too warm. But I'm like, what if we kind of make this a brow wax? Is it gonna work? Probably not. Am I gonna try it? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna add some water. I really don't know what this is gonna do. I have a spoolie. I'm trying to like get it in there with some water. I'm gonna use the cap to really work it into the spoolie. But this color would really work well, I feel like, for my brows. <laughs> so, so I'm really hoping this can just like run through my brows. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay though, I'm just saying. And that's why I never declutter anything anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but seriously. I think this might be, <gasps> oh God. Maybe don't do that. But the solution I needed. It's kind of dark. 
but how easy was that? Okay, super fast. I don't know guys, I'm gonna keep trying it, this, you know, new method, but if I can find a way to freaking use this, that will be amazing. I don't want the, the water's not really going in though. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave the cap off so it dries and hopefully I don't create mold. We don't wanna create mold. I am gonna fill in if I need to, just like my tail a little bit. Um, I don't know, anywhere I need to with my pencil. I do feel like it's a little dark. It's a little dark, but I'm pretty happy. At least it's not orange. My God, that's been the issue lately. Okay, so let's work on the eyes. I picked up the RMS uh, Eye Light and Strobe. I liked it so much, I did pick up another RMS. This is the Eye Light and Spark. Now, Strobe is better. So if you're going for one, I wouldn't pick up Spark first. I also thought it was interesting. I haven't even used this yet. I just opened it to squeeze it out. And there's way less product in this. I don't know if the pigment's denser, so you know, it doesn't need as much to be as heavy and they're doing it by weights, but it's measured by milliliters and ounces. So I'm not really sure. I'm gonna give you some really fast swatches, but strobe is really beautiful. It is more of the kind of taupey bronze I've been loving is the other one. I mean, still beautiful. It more has like a darker base though. It's just a little bit different than I was expecting. So I'm gonna use this today just as a base. Like we're gonna cover it for the most part. So I just wanna show you guys what it looks like. I'm not sure, I, I can't remember if I've shown it on camera yet. So I figured might as well. I like to apply it to the back of my hand first. So I just have mo the most control. And then I do use my finger. I just, I like using my fingers. So I tap it out a little bit. So I get an even coverage on my finger and then go from there. I start at the base of my lid, kind of in the center and apply it all the way across. And then once I have less, I start blending up with my finger. And I think like, if you're someone very on the go, you want something super simple, this is really beautiful. It's a little more messy than a cream on its own, like in a pot even, because I put it on the back of my hand, but I think it's beautiful and it does lock down. So this is not gonna like crease on you if you just wanna use this or even again, use it as a base. It does not crease at all. It like stays in place. So you don't have a ton of time to work with it. I don't find it's like too little, but you know, it needs to be your focus. And then if I want a little bit more on the lid, I'll just take that right there. This reminds me, I don't know if you've seen Hilary Duff. I don't know if it's Vogue or what, but she shows her routine. I think she uses like a Chantecaille cream shadow, but I don't know why I always think of her <laughs> doing her makeup in that video when I use this. Cause it's just like a cream and it makes me feel like chic one shadow look type thing. So that's what it looks like. Hopefully my edges are pretty blended, but it's a stunning color. Strobe specifically I think is beautiful. I do want to try the other ones. Like I want to see them in person, but I probably won't buy them online. I'll probably wait until I happen to be in store somewhere that's selling these to get an idea of colors because I don't want to pick up another one that color wise isn't the best for me, um, but I do think they're really pretty. So if you wanted to know, I like them a lot. Just don't squeeze them, the tubes, <laughs> you know, if you sc start squeezing them or, you know, playing around, it will just start uh, letting product come out. So don't do that. Resist the urge. I got two palettes during the Sephora sale. I got the Patrick Ta. This I purchased separately from that big order, like the big order I placed. Cause I didn't know if I was gonna pick this up and it came out after I'd already placed that order. So I picked this up and I've done at least two looks on camera on the channel. If I can remember those videos, I will link them down below. So I think I'm gonna do another look with this one from NARS. And I am so happy with both the palettes first off. I think they are beautiful. I am very happy with my purchase. This palette has me interested. Like I am so excited to see what NARS launches next, honestly, like so excited, <laughs> so excited for it. I'm gonna go in first with this one here. Now these do, actually I'm going to go in with this one, the second one down. I do find that these deepen up more than I expect. They have like more pigment. So I'm just putting this in the outer corner. I'm just acting almost like whatever we put down with that cream shadow almost isn't there. Like it's not really affecting <laughs> what I'm doing with my look. I just think that the NARS formula is so nice and like luxury and high end and like easy to work with. I feel like sometimes you know, Natasha Denona is luxury, but it's maybe not quite as like user friendly as I feel like the NARS is. So if you're struggling with Natasha Denona, you might like the NARS stuff because I feel like it's still pigmented, but maybe just a little bit more workable. I'm going for a smoky bronze type eye today. 
I know, shocker. <laughs> but I think that what this palette has me excited for is honestly this type of palette, but cooler. This is very warm and it has like the peaches and it has the pinks and really pretty beautiful colors, bronzes, that type of stuff. I want this in a cool tone palette, in a mauve, like a purpley mauve cool tone palette. That is what I'm excited for. I'm gonna be looking out for the six pans, like just any of them. I'm gonna probably be on the NARS train for a little bit. It inspired me to pick up the duo, the Kalahari duo. Glad I did, which a lot of you guys said it is still available on other sites. I don't know why I couldn't find that. So if you want it, it's like definitely available other places. If you heard me say it's not, you can still find it. I've just thoroughly been enjoying the formula of NARS and in general NARS. Like I want the blush palettes. They have so many good things on sale. I'm trying so hard not to make another order if I'm being honest. I just think their stuff is so good and I'm like on the lookout. On the lookout. I think this would be a pretty look on its own. Like I could stop here. I'm not going to. The color I really want to use today is this one. It's so pretty. It's like a greeny bronze. It has like a bit of a red to it and a golden shimmer. And that's going to just go on my lids tapped over what we have laid down and just blend it up. That's it. Just want simple, sultry, easy. Yeah, that's just stunning. So pretty. I definitely wanna highlight my brow bone. I'm gonna use the highlighter that I used. There is a, a light shade in here, but it's pretty yellow gold. Um, so I kinda want something a little more neutral. I'm gonna mix these two together. And I'm also gonna put that on my inner corner. Yeah, I'm glad I did that and I didn't use the gold. I think it can be a really pretty summery look, but it's a little distracting for like an everyday inner corner for me. I'm just using my tried and true Pixi Rose Glow Eyeliner. I love this thing. Like I'm gonna need a new one soon. And they have so many colors on, I think it's the Pixi website. I was looking over there and I was like, damn, I need to try some of those out. I love the shimmers and the formula is just so good. And I just blend that out with my finger. I'm gonna add some mascara and then we'll move on to the lips. Okay, but isn't this eye look so pretty? So sultry, so easy. I love it. I love it. Mm. Okay, I just love this palette. There's so many options in here. I mean, they're all gonna be some form of neutral, but I love, I really have been enjoying it. It's a good pickup for me. I could see it being a, like a long-term palette in my collection that I can use for tons of different occasions. Anyway, let's move on to the lips. I picked up three different lip products in the sale, which is kind of a lot for me. I've been into lip products though, so I can see myself even picking up more lip products in the future. I picked up a lip liner, the bougiest, most expensive lip liner you could ever get. I think it's pretty good though. Um, This is from Gucci. It is the shade 01 Nude, and it's quite a brown neutral color. A little bit warm as well so I'm gonna line my lips so there it is a little bit definitely more of that brown like almost orangey on the brink of orange because it's kind of uh warm and I like it enough I don't know if I like suggest it I love my lip liners from Jane Iredell they have a lot of different colors and I love spice that's like my all-time favorite lip liner if you wondered um but this is pretty decent it's pretty good it's just expensive like it's I don't know it's not like worth the money to me in that way when it comes to like actual lip products I got the lip plump maracuja tart thing so good I got peachy beige this was in the fave sections of my april favorites and it's beautiful if you want supple plush shiny but like it feels like a bombs on your lips this is the product for you i know they're getting hype but i do think it's deserved so if you find a color you like i don't think you'll be disappointed other thing i got was also pretty like a lot of people picked this up during their uh purchases because it came out at that time from givenchy it's the rose perfecto liquid balm i got mine in 110 and it is a nice expensive product in that you know it has it has all the attention to detail that you expect from an expensive product this does have like a vanilla rose mint flavor so keep that in mind the maracuja has a coconut mint so they both have a minty thing going on I'm gonna actually use this one because <laughs> in my video doing the try on I used the tart one and so many people wanted to see this so here it is
Okay, so thoughts. It feels nice. It's more of like that moisturizing feel. I think that the color just like, it sits in my lip line a little bit. Like I don't like to put too much on because I just feel like you can see it like in the creases a little bit, just a little bit. So I don't like love that about it. I don't hate this product, but I don't I don't think it's worth it. I think it's a pretty product. Think for photos, like on your vanity. I don't know, overall, I mean, I prefer the Tarte one. And there's a bit of a price difference, I think. This is like 20. I don't know how much this is, but I know it's more than 20. So I don't like absolutely love it. I also love the Rowan liquid lip balm. If you're looking for a liquid lip balm, go with the Rowan one. That one's so much better. So yeah, it's just okay. It's just not my thing. I could see someone else being like, it's my favorite, but for me, it's just like fine. It's fine. But then you have to factor in price and that kind of makes it like, oh man, you know? So that's how I feel about that. I'm gonna zoom us out so I can talk about a few other products that I picked up, but we haven't used like on camera. Okay, I wanted to update you on the Glow Recipe, AHA, BHA, Salicylic, Serum, Strawberry Smooth, whatever. I'm like halfway done with this. I don't suggest, like do not waste your money. Honestly, it's a one fluid ounce. I don't like the smell. I don't feel like it does anything. I just want that glow from Glow Recipe. And I didn't feel like this was even like doing anything like acid resurfacing, te retexturizing even so far. So I do not like this. I don't think it's worth the money. I would not suggest it. And if this was on sale, like on BoxyCharm, I still wouldn't pick it up. I wouldn't pick it up for a discounted price, even half off. Nope. Like I don't like it. <laughs> I picked up the Way Scrub in St. Bart's. This is like, I think now permanent, but they brought it back this summer. It was limited edition last summer. This isn't that one. I actually finished the one that I had been using last year and so I made a repurchase of it. I haven't busted into it yet, but I had another body scrub I was using from Tree Hut and I put it in here and I just wanna shout out the packaging of this really fast. The way scrubs, like if you're gonna do a jar packaging for a scrub, this is one of the best ones, honestly, because you can just easily get it. So I will be keeping this packaging around and putting all my tree scrub or really any body scrub in it. It just works really well. So I still have that one on standby I'll probably start using it soon though because it's like summertime and it's just a luxurious scrub I love it so obviously super happy with that I think the last thing I have to talk about is the perfume sampler and I actually have a whole video dedicated to that that I made on my one of my scent Sundays. so I'll leave that down below if you want to see all my thoughts on the different ones but basically Sephora does the perfume samplers where you get to try out different ones and you get a voucher to redeem for your favorite and I ended up redeeming it for the clean reserve skin scent really really loving this actually let me Put it on. This is a really nice skin scent, one that's gonna be like non-offensive if you're like worried about going to work or something, but instead of it being like warm cotton sheets and really clean like that, it has this really nice sweetness to it. So it's like musky, there's tonka bean in here, there's a praline note, there's a sea salt note. It's just a really nice one. It gives you the same clean like vibes without being like soapy. And I love that because I don't like a soapy scent. So I've really been enjoying this. I mean, I feel like I have almost a dent going in it. It's a great, just like easy reach for when I don't know what I want to wear. And I think the perfume samplers are just so great from Sephora. I actually ended up picking that same sampler up for my sister-in-law for Mother's Day and she loved it. She actually ended up getting the Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia scent. That was her favorite out of the set. So they make really great gifts. I obviously gift them and I do think they're like crowd pleasers because you get to try a sampling of perfumes. It's not overwhelming, it's not like too many things to sample, but there's enough in there for like tons of different tastes. So that's my updated haul. I had a lot of great successes, I think. Like, I feel like overall it was really successful. I really enjoyed that it was like a full face of stuff. Like I have two eyeshadow palettes, I guess, but you know, it was enough stuff that I could try it all together. And I thought that was really fun. So I would love to know if you picked up any of the stuff during the sale or what you picked up during the sale. Are you happy with it? How are you liking it? Yeah, and let me know if you like this kind of haul update. I can keep doing them if I do any like specific hauls. So. I'm gonna leave you here. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.